Good afternoon, friends. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. We are here in the Pokemon Center, just outside of whatever this cave is called. Um, there are some trainers over here, which I might come back and battle later, as I said before. But I think, other than that, we've really seen most of what there is to see in this area. There is a um, item ball up there. But I'm not sure if we can even get to that one yet. There's a trainer. Uh, looks like maybe a bird keeper. And if we had a Pokemon who knew Rock Smash, I could break this rock. But um, I do want to hold off on that a little bit, since uh, I don't want to teach it to our Bayleaf. But I will come back and get that at some point. Union Cave, that's the one. Union Cave is a um, not particularly interesting cave. I don't think you can access the full cave until you have Surf. X attack. Let's go face that uh, hiker up there, since he might have some rock types. Oh, that's not a hiker. Uh-oh. If there's light, a cave isn't scary. If you're strong, Pokemon aren't scary. This guy is one of those fire dudes, I think. Yeah, fire breather ray. Alright, might be a little tougher then. As we said before, uh, Razor Leaf will be our best attack, even though it's not very effective. So the one thing that is cool about Union Cave is that once you have Surf and can get to the lower areas, um, you can actually find a Lapras here, swimming around. And I think Lapras is only there on Friday. Today is Sunday, so no Lapras, but we also don't have Surf, so wouldn't make a difference regardless. I do think it's kind of cool though how in the first game you only can get Lapras as a gift, but here you can actually catch it sort of in the wild. All right, let's see what's downstairs. A wild Pokemon. It is a Sandshrew. That should be an easy win. And I'm pretty sure we checked to see if the Pokemart in Violet City had repels. Um, but I will definitely... Actually, I don't think there is a Pokemon in the next city. So it might be a little bit before we get repels, unfortunately. I might even make a trip back off screen to Violet City just to double check and make sure there are no repels, because I really wouldn't mind having some of those. Zubat. Alright, let's just see if Tackle will be a one-hit knockout. And that way I know if I should... Fight Zubat? No, I should not fight Zubat. Alright, we got lucky in that it's Supersonic Mist. So, still a pretty easy battle. But I am definitely going to um, run away from Zubat going forward. And this was a dead end. I see an item ball, but that's about it. I know some of these wild Pokemon battles aren't too interesting, but... Um, once we start getting a larger team, that'll definitely mix things up a little and make things a little more interesting to watch. I was kind of hoping that we'd be able to get one Pokemon between each gym, so... Ooh, Rock Tomb. That's a decent Rock-type move, not that we have any Rock-types. Um, so I was hoping to... Ooh, got an item. Anytime you see a Rock like that that's in the middle of nowhere, definitely worth checking. So I was hoping to get our second Pokemon before the second gym. Just like we got our first Pokemon before the first gym. And um, after that point, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get my third Pokemon before the third gym, fourth before the fourth, etc. But um, unfortunately, it looks like the Pokemon that I'm looking to get next, you can get before the second gym, but it would be a lot of extra work to do that. So um, I'm probably not going to bother and just hold off and keep our Bayleaf as our go-to Pokemon for now. Uh, that will require some extra levels to make sure we can beat the second gym, which is Bug-type. But I'd rather put the extra experience into Cherry, instead of wasting the time training up another Pokemon that we're not really going to use. So we should get our second and third members of our team before the third gym, though, pretty soon after the second gym. Now let's go ahead and face them while we're here. Hikers are a pretty good match for us, since they tend to have rock and ground types, and occasionally a fighting type. 
but even a fighting type um, is even against Cherry. Fighting versus Grass is one of those matchups I can never remember because almost all the Grass types in Generation 1 were Poison type, so they resisted fighting type moves by virtue of that. But I don't think... I feel like I always think that Grass doesn't resist fighting, but it actually does. I suppose we'll find out at some point. Alright, another easy knockout. I'm gonna guess he has a Onyx. What do you guys think? Nope, just three Geodudes. Very, very boring. I say Geodudes, but I guess um, it is technically Geodude. He has multiple Geodude. Because all Pokemon are... Um, their name is both singular and plural. Like uh, sheep, for example. You can have one sheep, or you can have multiple sheep. You can have one bay leaf, or multiple bay leaf. Uh, I guess I might as well fight him for the experience. Zubat's supersonic keeps confusing my Pokemon. I'm seriously upset about that. Yeah, you and me both, buddy. That's why I'll be running away from them. Fire Breather Bill. Coughing is a poison type, not a fire type. Poison type still resists grass. Unfortunately, grass is not really one of the better types in the game. It has its uses for sure, and grass type attacks can be very useful against a number of types, but um, it is resisted by steel, poison, bug, fire, flying, and in turn, grass is weak against fire, um, flying, bug, poison, ice. So it's definitely good to teach your uh, Grass-type Pokémon some moves that are not Grass-type. Poison Gas, that I think is going to poison me. Yep. Well, that sucks. Um, we do have an Antidote, though, so let me go ahead and just finish off this Coughing. Not sure why I used Tackle there. I probably should use Raise Relief. Hope for a critical chance. But that is why we have those antidotes. Alright, there we go. All better. Let's see what this thing is. But first, another Zubat. We are going to run away just because I don't want to take the time to face the Zubat. A Great Ball, that is a better Pokeball, has, I think, a 50% better chance of catching a Pokemon. What's up here? Another item. Ugh. This cave has so many Pokemon in it, it's really annoying. There is another opportunity at a Geodude, if you didn't catch one before. Avoided. That was my 5% uh, mischance there. can also catch a Zubat here, um, which is not an easy Pokemon to train. It does gain a third stage evolution in this generation. So Zubat evolves into Crobat just like Gen 1. Um, any hidden items here? No. Also, how are you doing, Bayleaf? Haven't talked to you in a while. It's playfully digging in the ground. Alright, have fun. Not sure if Bayleaf can learn dig or not. Probably. I know that Meganium can learn Earthquake, and that is a great move to teach Meganium because, like I was saying, grass attacks aren't very effective against fire, uh, steel, and poison types, but Earthquake is super effective against those same three types, poison, fire, and steel. Unfortunately, grass and ground are both not good against flying or other grass types, so you still probably want to have a normal type attack like Tackle, um, or hopefully something better than Tackle eventually, in order to uh, face Flying types and other Grass types. Pokemaniac Larry. He is a Slowpoke. It's a Pokemon you see a lot from Pokemaniacs. Slowpoke is a Water and Psychic type, so 
Razor Leaf should be an easy kill. There it is. Oh, my poor Pokemon. We will actually be seeing a lot of uh, Slowpoke in the near future. Nope, oh, wrong way. There might be an item there in that dead end, but I'll come back later and um, check out all the stuff that I may or may not have missed. I think we spent enough time in Union Cave as it is. Awakening is kind of like an antidote, but it cures sleep instead of poison. And it's raining. Interesting, we have some weather going on. Um, I think that means that uh, our battles we fight will be in the rain condition automatically, which is really cool. That was a Generation 3 change, having open world weather. And uh, really makes the world feel a lot more realistic. It'd also be good if we face any um, any fire type Pokemon trainers. This guy's only a hiker, but if we face any fire type trainers, the rain would prevent their fire moves from doing too much damage. Being a grass type, it wouldn't really affect me too much either way, except that my synthesis would do less healing. So there's the rain. And I won't be using Synthesis, but thankfully I won't need it. Alright, a little more experience. So normally you um, create rain by using the move Rain Dance, which uh, creates the rain weather condition for five turns, or eight turns if you hold a special item, called the Damp Rock. Hey, there was a nice critical hit. But um, there are a few Pokemon, not many, but a few, who have an ability which makes rain. Oh, okay, I'll give him my phone number, not a problem. Um, and of course, you can also find rainy status conditions out in the main world. But unlike rain from a move, I'm pretty sure the rain from the natural weather sticks around. Who are these two? Who are you? You don't know us? We are Team Rocket! What? We broke up a while ago? Give me a break. We have not broken up. Actually, we did once, but we have come back to pursue Giovanni's ambition. Enough talking. Just shut up and beat it. Thud. Well, he seems nice. And I guess he is guarding the entrance to that well? Slowpoke Well, also known as Rainmaker Well. Locals believe that a Slowpoke's yawn summons the rain. Records show that a Slowpoke's yawn ended a drought 400 years ago. Records or legends? Nothing is going on. Unsafe to go in there, so I'm standing guard to make sure people don't wander in. Am I not a good Samaritan? Alright, so that means we can't go into Slowpoke well quite yet. The Slowpoke have disappeared from the town. I heard their tails are being sold somewhere. Well, that's very unfortunate, so... That's something you, that you probably wouldn't even see in a later generation, cutting off Pokemon's tails. Even though, uh, I suppose they do grow back. So there is a Pokemart, and come on, it does have repels. All right, let's buy a decent chunk of these, because I'm sure I will use them. I'm going to go ahead and buy 10 repel. I wonder if you can, um, like, keybind items like you can in some games. Let's go to repel. Mm, it doesn't look like it. What if I hit the select key? Nothing happens. Sometimes you can bind an item to the select key so that you can... Maybe it's only for key items. That might be what it is. I think in later games, maybe you can... Um, well, these two items you don't really use, so... But I think that's what the register thing did anyway. And what does this guy sell? Okay, so you can buy netballs anywhere. That's pretty cool. Um, let's go ahead and buy two more of these guys. Since there are a lot of water and bug types around. Alright, the more badges you see, the better items you'll see in shops. That's right, I was just about to uh, say that. That's a um, idea they added in some of the newer games. I had to guess, I would say Gen 4 onwards. Um, and it's a cool idea, because that way you don't have to fly back to um, a higher level city to buy items you want. Every Pokemon you visit just happens to have the best items for whatever your progress is in the game. I 
see a fisherman over there, but I don't think he gives us the old rod. We can ask. He's just talking about Bill's PC. Who's Bill? I don't know, but this is his PC. Or someone's PC. It's actually Bill's PC, but we haven't met Bill yet, so until then it's just called someone's PC. And what that does is let us store Pokemon uh, in case our party gets full. Or if we want to store them for any other reason. Kurt's house. Apricorn and nothing else, the stubborn Pokeball creator. Let's go ahead and talk to him after we harvest this Apricorn. A white Apricorn. You can see he has some um, logs back there. I guess he is a master craftsman. And there's Kurt and his granddaughter. Hmm, who are you? Joe, eh? You want me to make some balls? Sorry, that'll have to wait. Do you know Team Rocket? Ah, uh, don't worry, I'll tell you anyhow. Team Rocket's an evil gang that uses Pokémon for their dirty work. They're supposed to have disbanded three years ago. Anyway, they're at the well, cutting off Slowpoke tails for sale. So I'm going to give them a lesson in pain. Hang on, Slowpoke! Old Kurt is on his way! Don't know why he waited to, uh, tell me that before he left. I guess he was just getting ready when I happened to come in. Grandpa's gone. I'm so lonely. Ah, don't worry. I'm sure he'll be back soon. And I don't think we can go over there quite yet, but I'm also not going to try it, because, um, well, you'll see why. Do you know about Slowpoke Tail? I heard it's tasty. Aren't you glad I told you that? No, not really, because that actually kind of sounds disgusting. Charcoal Kiln. We let our far-fetched fetch branches for charcoal. Where have all the Slowpoke gone? Are they out playing somewhere? All the Slowpoke have disappeared from the town. The Forest Protector may be angry with us. It may be a bad omen. We should stay in. So these guys will also become important a little later on. But now that we've seen Kurt head out to the Slowpoke well, let us go ahead and do the same. There are a lot of cool areas to visit in the game, but they're all um, pretty short. That way they uh, don't over or outlast your attention span. Hey there, Joe! The guard up top took off when I shouted at him, but then I took a tumble down the well. Ouch. I slammed down hard on my back so I can't move. Rats, if I were fit, my Pokémon would have punished them. Ah, uh, it can't be helped. Joe, show them how gutsy you are in my place. I will certainly do my best. It's kind of good, though, because it means I can fit a couple different areas in, uh, in one episode. In this case, Union Cave and Slowbook Well. I was standing guard up top when some old coot yelled at me. He startled me so much that I fell down here. How about I vent my anger and take it out on you? So graphically, the well actually looks really deep, but I'm imagining that, like, plot-wise, it's actually not quite that bad. Maybe only, like, ten feet or something. Because otherwise, I imagine they would do more than just hurt themselves falling down here. They'd probably be in a, um... Well, I guess it's not a Pokemon Center, because they're not Pokemon. I guess there's hospitals somewhere. For people. Or do Pokemon just use, like, Soft Boiled and Heal Bell and heal their trainers? Not entirely sure how that works. I argue this is not my day. Also, I apologize if my voice sounds a little bit stuffy. Um, it probably has for the last couple videos. Um... I don't think I'm getting a cold. I don't really feel like I am. It's not allergies, because it's the middle of winter. I think it's just like the weather changing. But hopefully my head will clear up before too long. Critical hit. Yay, lucky us. Um, I'll use a repel in a little bit, but I think you can actually catch Slowpoke here. Maybe? Stop taking Slowpoke tails? What? You want us to disobey a direct order from Executive Proton? If you want to stop us, you'll have to defeat us all. Go ahead and try. So, um, as you may have gathered from the plot, and if you remember from our Pokemon Red Let's Play, or just from playing the game yourself, in the first series of games, the Generation 1 games, um, you face and defeat Team Rocket and their leader Giovanni, who disbands Team Rocket once he is defeated for the final time. But apparently the uh, branch in Johto didn't get the memo, and a couple high-ranking executives, some of Giovanni's lieutenants, 
decide to take over in his stead and uh, keep things running. Executive Proton is one of those guys. And in the original Generation 2 games, trainers did not have names yet. That was a Generation 3 edition, pretty sure. Uh, before only the gym leaders had names and other very special trainers. So whereas before there were just four Team Rocket executives, now there are um, now they are all named. You rotten brat. And I can't remember if I feel like we're about to. Um, yeah, they do grow back fast. So that's something. Yeah, I think that's Executive Proton down there. And I don't remember if in the original games you face him as an executive, or if um, or if you just face like a, a Rocket Grunt who's a little bit more powerful. I would have to look that one up. Super Potion, that might come in handy. Hopefully we won't have to use it, but just in case. So Slowpoke Well, it seems, is not a big place. Quit taking Slowpoke Tails! If we listen to you, Team Rocket's rep would be ruined! Or fixed, maybe? I think there are some other areas of Slowpoke Cave you can access once you have Surf. But right now, we do not. Alright, gain a little bit of experience. Level 21. Going to tackle the Zubat. Probably won't be a one hit. Nope. Leech Life is a bug type move, so super effective, but still won't do too much damage. Because it is a very weak attack, and Zubat does not get the same type of attack bonus. So far, these rockets have not been too difficult, which is pretty typical for Team Rocket. Hopefully their executive will be a little bit more formidable. If I was them, I would keep using Supersonic, because really their only choice, or their only chance, is to get very lucky and hope that I keep damaging myself in confusion. All right, defeated the other Team Rocket Grunt. There's one of those poor Slowpoke, aw. It has a mail, sure. Be good and look after the house with Grandpa and Slowpoke. Love, Dad. That must be um, Kurt's son, I guess, who wrote that. Another Slowpoke here. And you know it's a boss fight because he doesn't attack you, you have to attack him. So it looks like if you have strength, you can also access another part of the well. That's what that gray boulder on the left is. Um, but right now we can't even get to it, even if we did have strength, which we don't. What do we have here? I am often labeled as the scariest and cruelest guy in Team Rocket. I strongly urge you not to interfere with our business. Yeah, not sure he's really the strongest. I think of the four executives, he's actually the weakest one. We're about to find out. Level 8 Zubat. Not too hard. Leech Life. I'm not sure what level uh, the second gym leader's Pokemon will be at. Bugsy is his name. A lot of people think Bugsy's a girl, but apparently Bugsy is actually a dude. Coughing. Okay, so that's a little better, I guess. It doesn't matter where we go, there's always someone who doesn't agree with us. Well, that should tell you something. Let's go ahead and use Razor Leaf against Coughing. I remember in the original Generation 2 games, Bugsy's Pokemon were 14, 14, and 16. Which I feel like wouldn't be too bad now. But, um. Coughing actually has decent defense, that's why it's not taking too much damage. But I feel like because Faulkner's Pokemon were a little bit higher, uh, this game might have been retuned. And his Pokemon might be like 16, 16, and 18, something like that. So, um. I guess we'll find out. But if that's the case, I don't think we're gonna be able to win the battle, at least not easily. 
<laughs> Team Rocket was indeed broken up three years ago, but we continued our activities underground. A small obstacle like you won't be much of a problem for our mission. I advise you to be very afraid of what is to come. Looks like Kurt is feeling a little bit better. Way to go, Joe! Team Rocket has taken off! My back's better, too! Let's get out of here. Guess he uh, shares his escape rope with us. Hi, Joe! You handled yourself like a real hero! As I mentioned before, Team Rocket was disbanded by a boy called Red. That was us. Three years ago. Now that they've come back, I have a bad feeling about it. In any case, it would please me greatly to make Pokeballs for a trainer like you, Joe. This is all I have now, but take it. We received a fastball. You have apricorns for me? Fine, I'll turn them into Pokeballs. That's what apricorns are for. Uh, a fastball is good at catching fast Pokemon, as its name would suggest. Um, okay, so yellow apricorn, green, white, pink, or black. I think black is heavy. Pink is love, maybe? White might be luxury? Let's try the white apricorn and see what it does. Not sure how long we have to wait. Maybe like 12 hours or a day. Okay, 24 hours. That's right. I'll give you my grandpa's number. That'll be good. That way he um, can call me when he's ready. All right, and there's Slowpoke. Home and happy. His tail already starting to grow back, I'm sure. Okay, well, I guess that is it for Slowpoke Well. When we come back, we can go ahead and face Leader Bugsy. Um, and move on with the game. I might train up a leaf a couple more levels just to be a little bit on the safe side, and of course we'll do some more training in the gym as well. So uh, this was a pretty fun episode, and I have some time today to do a few more. Hopefully you'll join me. I'll see you all in just a bit.